Good morning, Grey Group. Welcome to day three. I'm going to read the story to you today. I want you to follow with your finger as I read it. And I want you to see how I pause at the punctuation and also listen to my expression that I use for the characters' voices. Are you ready? Hope you enjoy it. Wailing Winnie's car boot sale. Winnie stuck the poster to the wall of her cave with a blob of bat spit. Perfect, she exclaimed, straightening her pointy hat. Car boot sale, today in the snail, snail trail cave. Lots of bargains. Winnie peered into the boot of her witchmobile, ticking things off on her long fingernails. A book of out-of-date spells, a bit stained, a set of second-hand chains, a crate containing old toenail clippings, six cans of snail slime, a rat's tail, oh yes, and a pair of smelly old trainers. All Winnie's mates came to the boot sale and everything was sold. I'll take the cash straight to the Banshee Bank, said Winnie's husband, Phantom Phil. Have you seen my trainers? Trainers? Winnie gulped. Winnie, you pea brain, you've sold my best trainers, Phil complained, swishing round the cave in a rage. I'll try and get them back, wailed Winnie, revving up her broomstick. First, she paid a visit to the chilly Charlie's coffin. The lid creaked open and Charlie's pale face poked out. Did you buy a pair of smelly old trainers at the boot sale, wailed Winnie. I'm afraid not, complained Charlie. I bought the book of out-of-date spells and I paid £2.50 for it. That was £2.50 down the drain. Winnie nailed his lid down again. Next, she visited Sam the Spook's attic. Ghostly fingers trailed past Winnie's face. Wait! Did you buy a pair of smelly old trainers at the boot sale? She wailed. I'm afraid not, hooted Sam. I bought the chains. I'm doing them for Halloween. He faded away. Winnie raised the rusty lid of the dustbin. Dustbin Dave crouched in an old paint tin among the marmalade jars and cake crumbs. Is it dustbin day? He grunted. No, wailed Winnie. Did you buy a pair of old smelly old trainers at the boot sale? Not me, grunted Dave. I bought the toenail clippings. I've always wanted some. He waved and banged down the lid. Smelly Nelly was sitting on a pile of rubbish in the rain. Did you buy a pair of smelly old trainers at the boot sale? wailed Winnie. Yes, I've turned them into sparkly sandals for my holiday in Spain, explained Nelly, demonstrating with her magic wand. Winnie felt faint. Well, you'd better turn them back again. Nelly waved a pair of dusty lace-up boots in Winnie's face. Will these do instead? She grinned. I'm having a boot sale of my own and I'm selling these boots a bargain. Five hundred pounds. We're going to do speedy green words again. I'm going to start with a two second gap. Are you ready? I'm going to shuffle it. Shuffle. Are you ready? Remember to say the word as quickly as you can. This is to develop your fluency. Ready, steady, go.
Well done. Well done for those speedy green words. Remember, you can go back and repeat that activity again. Right, now it's time for your second read. You've heard me read the story, you've had a practice. The second read should be more fluent and with much more expression. Remember, if you want to record yourself reading the story, I'd be happy to hear it and see it. So please just send it to me, either via Tapestry or Google Classroom. Good luck. Here is your second hold a sentence. Winnie was afraid that she wouldn't find the trainers again. Winnie was afraid that she wouldn't find the trainers again. Did you have a go at the hold a sentence video? Now it's your time to write it. Let me remind you of the sentence again. Winnie was afraid she wouldn't find the trainers again. Pause the video, write it down and then I'll talk you through it. Are we ready? So we have, Winnie was afraid she wouldn't find the trainers again. So we have a capital letter for Winnie. There we go. Winnie spelt with a Y. Winnie, finger space, was afraid she wouldn't. Now wouldn't is a contraction so we have would, you know how to spell that, wouldn't with an apostrophe at the top, wouldn't. Did you get that one right? If not, just fix it with your purple polish. Winnie was afraid she wouldn't find the trainers Trainers again. With a nice clear full stop at the end. How did you get on? Well done, great group. <laughs>